I'm Peter Yarrow of Peter, Paul and Mary, and I'm coming to be with you not as just a singer today. Uh, actually, just a singer is, is quite a history of 40 years of, of Peter, Paul and Mary, uh, not just uh, singing songs, but also believing in what they say. And uh, that is really uh, why the program Don't Laugh At Me, which is the name of a song, has been launched, because it speaks to our hearts. Uh, that is Peter, Paul, Mary's heart, to the people who've uh, heard it in concert. As a matter of fact, when Peter, Paul, and Mary sang it for the National Association of Elementary School Principals, the teachers came rushing back and they said, give us this song, we need this in the classroom. And that began to really awaken a process within us and within in me in a very special way to say, uh, we must use this song to address something that's critical that's happening in our country. Uh, we have an epidemic in this country of uh, disrespect that comes through the media, it comes from messages in powerful and cruel ways that are not characteristic of the way in which uh, it came to us when I was young. What can happen is that this song, this video, and this teacher's guide can launch a project that either links with other peace education work that you're doing and um, emphasizes it and underscores it with the heartfelt message of music, of the creative spirit that, that empowers this song, but or uh, if you're not already engaged in that work, can begin to familiarize you with and commit you to an extraordinary adventure, a pathway that'll lead you to, uh, to doing uh, something that may, might seem a bit impossible. But it's only impossible if we're saying we have to change the whole world at once. If we're saying that we're going to change one child at a time, or help one child evolve at a, time, uh, at a time, or if we're going to change the culture of the classroom, your particular classroom, and you're going to say, on an ongoing basis, we can do work that will alter that, then I tell you, that is possible. And not only is it transformational for your class, but if you change one classroom, you change the world. And I firmly believe that. Uh, my mother was a school teacher, and I grew up uh, believing that and feeling that. So uh, what, what occurs is this. The song, Don't Laugh at Me, is played. Uh, the children respond to it. A series of exercises following a guidebook are uh, initiated in the classroom, whereby children are sensitized to each other and learn to begin to talk to each other differently or learn to begin to address uh, resolving conflict differently so that they use I messages that means I feel this way rather than you are this and then call a name. As the kids learn and develop their skills in reasoning and develop their skills in understanding and in problem solving, they also develop a sense of self-esteem in a non-fearful environment. They're not afraid of each other. They're not afraid of being laughed at and ridiculed for expressing themselves. They're not afraid of being uh, uh, marginalized because they're different in one way or another and they're sensitive to the fact that all of the kids around them, even the ones that are the most popular and most um, uh, gifted as athletes or whatever, that they're also vulnerable in the same ways. And once they have that understanding, once they get a glimpse of that, they are embarking on a project which will change them and change you and change that classroom. It cannot be accomplished in a few short weeks. There can be an epiphany that opens it up, but it can be accomplished over a period of, of years, actually, as a way of life. We need strong citizens as much as we need 
uh, strongly gifted kids that can be on the computer and be successful in business. We need children who are, are filled with a sense of their humanity towards one another so that they, we can ultimately uh, have children grow up to be responsible, uh, active members of a democracy where they not only can read but they can feel a sense of the importance of their participation in community and that's part of what is formulated here as well. Ultimately, the whole community has to be involved. You start with a child, you start with a classroom, and then after there's a certain strength, there's an outreach to the principals, the administration, the community at large, and they come in, they observe, and, um, and it becomes uh, and it, contagious. This is a positive virus, if you will. I sing my songs uh, with you and for you and embrace you as the people who more profoundly than in anybody else can change this world. So go well and good luck in your process and, um, and thank you for, for taking this program and, um, and being a part of what I think is going to be a, a very important initiative and effort in our country. And I'm not just talking about Don't Laugh at Me, which is just a beginning. I'm talking about the ongoing work to address these possibilities. And if you're already doing the work, God bless you. Thank you.